Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to import existing data into VTiger 7 using CSV files. If you already have a list of leads, contacts, opportunities, organization or any other records to import into VTiger, you can do that using VTiger import function. You can import CSV, VCF or Google contacts and calendar. The process for importing CSV files is identical for all modules. So while we are demonstrated using the context module here, you can use the same process for all other modules. To get started, go to the upper right corner of the screen and click on the menu button and then go to the context module. In the context list view, click on the import button. On the import page, select the file type. Here I have selected a CSV format. Next, click on the choose file button to locate the file that you like to upload and select the header checkbox if your CSV file contains column data names so that the first row of the data in your CSV file with those names is not assumed to be data and created a record. Next, choose the character encoding type which should be left as UTF-8 unless you know that your data is encoded in a different format. You can also select the delimiters type which for CSV file is the comma. During import, VTiger may find duplicate records between the CSV file and what already exists in the VTiger and offers you three options for managing duplicate records. Option 1 is to skip all the seller and the selecting duplicate record. Option 2 enables you to override the record currently in VTiger with a record in the CSV file. Option 3 enables you to merge the two records based on the modified time of the record. Once you have defined your import settings, clicking on the next button will take you to a page that allows you to map each of the CSV file columns with the field in the VTiger record. You might find that the VTiger has pre-mapped some fields for you. This is because VTiger automatically attempts to match CSV columns header with VTiger field. You can save your mapping for the future imports by selecting the save as custom mapping checkbox. To start the import process, click on the import button. The import process will generate a report showing the number of records in the imported, created, overwritten, skipped, merged, and failed. This page also lets you start a new import using the import more button, see the last imported records, and even delete the records that were just imported using the undo last import button. Thanks for watching the video.